motherfuckers know Resident Evil franchise is my favorite video game franchise of all time. So how about we take a look at the top five sexiest mm, Resident Evil characters. Mm, number five, Helena Harper was one of the only bright spots in Resident Evil 6. And no, 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 I don't mean to say she made it a good game because that ain't the case. Uh, let's be honest, nothing could have saved that fucking game. And believe it or not, Helena actually had a really in-depth backstory. But hey, we ain't here for that. We're here to see what other assets she's got to offer. Now take a look at her for one minute. Now is it just me, or does she got that hot boss vibe? It is something about that mom here that has me oh so sweaty and all the wrong places. Or right places, depends how you look at it. Now look, I'm not gonna lie, putting this number five spot in was really difficult. I almost slid Shiva Alamar in from Resident Evil 5, but Oh, her AI is just a little too fucking stupid for me to deal with. Uh, I would rather have an actual short bus pulling on in and assisting me in that game. So if you don't really agree with my Helena pick, I mean, take a look at this. Uh, mm. Enough said, motherfucker. Oh, number four. <laughs> Sherry Birkin. No. Not the Resident Evil 2 Sherry Burke, you sick fucks. I'm talking the Resident Evil 6 version. How in the fuck do we got two Resident Evil 6s in the top five? Fuck, this list is horrible already. Now, if you know Sherry Birkin's backstory, you know she had overcome some sick and twisted shit. Uh, mostly her dad taking the G-Virus, bending her over that table, and impregnating her ass. Uh, well, she didn't, and that bitch is back. Uh, oh, with that short blonde hair. And she don't even show that much skin, but hey, between you and me, she ain't got to. I can tell what you're working with, little old Sherry. Now look, it isn't for me, but all your name the motherfucking members out there, you'll be happy to know that in the mercenary mode, you can unlock Sherry Birkin's little Resident Evil 2 outfit. And judging by the one that she's wearing, it looks small enough for me to guess that's the same exact outfit that she did wear in the second game. Number three. Oh my god, I love me some Asian women. You know, it's something about those high-pitched whining screams that really does it in for me. And that's why she's coming in at number three on this list. Now I know, hey, calm down. I know a lot of you got a ranked higher. A lot of you have a ranked number one. The only reason she ain't higher on this list is because that bitch is annoying as fuck. Sorry. Now look, that doesn't take away the fact that she's got a smoking ass fucking body. And if you look at it, her style, her wardrobe style is unmatched in the fucking franchise. I mean, look at that. Look what the fuck she wears in Resident Evil 2. Who the fuck wears that during a zombie apocalypse? She only steps it up later in the franchise in Resident Evil 4 with that red dress. Oh. Oh, Ada. Oh. Oh, that red dress now. That shit is completely uncalled for, but again, completely fat material. I mean, shit, look at that. Look at that leg. I would eat baloney off that motherfucker. Throughout the game, she screws your ass over and over and over again, which is why it's kind of annoying, but yet, it's also kind of a turn on. Number two, Jessica Sher... Sher... Shero... Shero what? Shero... Shero what? Jessica Shero what? Oh, speaking of showing a little leg, god damn. I mean, holy god, where did this chick come from? Resident Evil Revelations was one of those games where you kind of could have forgot about it, but hey, that kind of sucked because it was a pretty good game. Just like Ada Wong, her outfits were completely impractical, almost, almost laughable, but they did the job. They got my goosebumps going. Her alternate outfits are some of the most badass sexiest costumes I have ever seen. I mean, damn, girl, how much leg you got up there? For those of you that want to see more, luckily I got this handy dandy Resident Evil Revelations concept art book right behind me. So let's take a look at some of the concepts you had, Jessica. Look at that face right there, God. Damn, Jessica, oh my God, that ass. Look at that shit right there, oh my, the hips though. And there it is, look at that. Look at that concept, oh my god. 
She's got a fucking cat ears on. Motherfucker wearing lingerie. Oh, he now. She wearing fucking bra and panties. Huh? Motherfuckers gave her a tramp stamp. Look at that. Huh? More exposure. Got. Oh my. I see a fucking camel toe up in that motherfucker. You motherfuckers really do need to get this fucking book. It is bar fucking. No Look at that. Look at that cleavage. Huh? And number one. Oh, let the hate flow. Here it comes, baby. Jill Valentine. This chick has gone through a ton of different looks, but you know what? Every one of them are smoking fucking hot. All the way back in 1996, I was crushing on little old Jill. I grab a little disc and load up the little PlayStation 1. Half you watching this don't even know what the fuck that is, do you? Load up the original Resident Evil and boom! There she was. You had the option to click on some penis face looking motherfucker named Chris Redfield. Or you could click on the one and only Jill Valentine. Obviously I picked Jill and the rest. Who oh, is history. As I said, Jill went through so many different transformations. But every one of them, though not fucking perfect, they got my dick poking right on through them white tighties every single one. Now if I had to pick my favorite Jill look, it would have to be from Resident Evil 3 when they decided, hey, we're gonna make her look as slutty looking as possible. Oh, you Japanese, you know what I want. I mean, why the fuck else would she be wearing this? But I fucking love that girl in every single installment, even when she looked like a bag of fucking wet dicks from the first Resident Evil game. That is one Jill sandwich I am definitely waiting to take a big ass bite of. Hey, look, I know I'm not the only motherfucker that faps your Resident Evil, okay? Don't y'all, oh, I'm better than that. I don't need that. I'd go over to Silent Fucking Hill. Let me tell you something. Silent Hill is a fucking ripoff. Hey, I know there's no zombies. Silent Hill, you and me, we gonna fucking go. I'm a Resident Evil boy, born and bred. You hear what I'm saying? Silent Hill, you can't wipe my ass. I don't know why you would, but you can't. I ain't gonna let you. But at least we can all agree, movies for both franchises fucking suck. So yeah, thank God we can agree on that.